Assalamu alaikum. I'm here today to share a full garden update with you today. It's a really great update. Um, I'm going to show you things that I've not shown in any of, other, of my videos so far. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. Um, I've got loads and loads of different varieties of things growing. Um, and I thought I'd do a full garden tour so you can enjoy. Uh, and hopefully I can share some skills along the way. Um, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, that will help me out a lot. Um, but we're going to get started now. And I'll show you, I'll show you what I've got growing. So I'm going to start with my favourite vegetable, um, the bottle gourd, the bangla khudu, the lao, whatever you like to call it. Um, you can see, um, so far, I think if you followed my videos, we've harvested 24 bottle gourds. And alhamdulillah, um, I said in my last video, after I harvested 11 or 12, that I might not beat that harvest. But um, I'll go through my garden now and just show you how many uh, khudus we've still got growing. So you can see... This plant here, um, we harvested two from about this area. Um, so this is a lovely variety of Bangla Khudu. So we've got one here, and then um, I'm not sure you're going to be able to see the next one, um, but you've got another one that's growing um, up here. And then um, you've got, I've bagged some of them up that were looking a bit weak. So this is a great tip for anybody um, to use. Uh, just remember to cut a little hole at the bottom so if it does rain the water can drain down so we've got a few more here and the plants mashallah you can see even though we've had loads of wind and the poor weather the plant leaves are really healthy I will share an, 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 another video with you very soon about a secret to keeping um, the plant leaves so green and healthy so um, just stay with me and then across here on this part here, so you can see there's no leaves at all up until you get to the first lao. So we've got a couple there. And then, alhamdulillah, you've got a few more here. So hopefully you're counting along. Um, and hopefully I can break the harvest uh, record that I made the, the, the week before. Um, so I'm going to go across to the other garden now. Okay, so here's another Bangla Khodu uh, bottle gourd plant. You can see I always use my trusted bottles to protect um, the gourds from insects. One of the number one reasons for people's um, bottle gourds dying is insect bites. Um, pollination as well, but insect bites is the number one reason in my opinion. So if you can protect it with a bottle like this, um, you'll lead to a lot more success. And then across here, you can see we've got another, another few. Put one in the bag, two without bag. So I'm not sure how many I've shown so far, but that's um, the laos on those in this area. Um, and then towards the back of the garden. Um, this is a nice area because this, this trellis has given me a lot of Bangla laos so far this season. So you can see we've got another nice one here that's growing. So that's got another week or so to go. Alhamdulillah, so there's quite a few still going in, in Birmingham, albeit the weather's not been great. Okay, so now I'm going to share some of my pumpkins, some Mishti Khudu. So you can see a nice variety here. This one's gotten quite big. Um, I think you'll enjoy this part because we've got lots and lots of pumpkins growing um, on the plants. So you can see. Um, always protect them on the ground because it can stop the diseases. So you can see there's just pumpkins there. So there's three or four here. There's more here. This one's a nice one as well, mashallah. Okay, so on the other side, got another one there. The plants started to wilt now because of the weather. So um, hopefully we can get to harvest a few more of these. You can see there at the back, a lovely uh, variety there. And then it just keeps going, inshallah. So you've got another one there. And one of the tips for um, that I found with the Mishti Khudu is just to keep feeding it. The more fertiliser you give, um, the healthier the plant stays. So you can see, just pumpkin after pumpkin after pumpkin, inshallah. Go across in here. One here, sorry about the Weetabix box, I don't want to advertise. And you've got this variety here, which is a really tasty one. And I've got six or seven of these in here. I don't think I'll be able to show you all of them because I don't want to get 
too dirty today. But you've got loads of misty on my head there. So hopefully you're enjoying that so far. Okay, so we've harvested some hyacinth, uh, lab lab, or banglishuri, whatever you like to call it, already. So it tasted, actually tasted really lovely. Um, so we've got, you can see, it was really windy, but I've, got, I've positioned these in a place where they get a bit of protection. So you can see all the way from the bottom. And um, you can see here, mashallah, these look beautiful. It's raining quite heavy now, but I'm going to continue. And then another plant here. You can see, the more you take off everybody, the more that come, um, as long as we've got the right conditions. Oh, my khodos again. And then across here, we've got a few more. You can see all the way to the top. Okay, to get away from the rain everybody, I'm going to come into my greenhouse now. Um, so you can see from the last update, I said the floor was there, the roof was there. You can see these have got a lot taller now. You can see the doogie is looking exceptional, mashallah. And I'm going to keep two or three for, for seed. Um, because these seeds were from Bangladesh and I don't think I'm going to get any more um, due to Covid and people not travelling so we'll, we'll harvest the majority of these and then we'll keep a few for seed here's the foishag um, you can see slowly but surely they started to the stalks have started to come out so we'll fill these with bamboo and then they'll grow really nicely and then this is a Dorset Naga plant um, this is an unbelievably hot chilli. For anyone who's had Dorset Nagas, it is a very um, potent, strong, the smell is incredible. Um, you can see, mashallah, the Nagas have appeared. Um, and, and the trick is, everybody, well, as soon as the flowers come out, just shake. Don't worry about a few flowers falling off, they would have fallen off anyway. But just give it a shake for about 10-15 seconds and every single flower that's left will get pollinated. And then I've got another Dorset Naga here, which is in a much bigger pot. And inshallah, I'll try to keep this for next year. But again, you'll see the Nagas have appeared. And again, just, just, just occasionally, just give it a, a shake. And I really wanted to share this one as well. This is a Butjalokia Naga. This is a really hot one as well. I'm just starting to flower. And again, just a little shake there, pollinate everything. And then you've got the black chilies as you can see almost every single flower has been pollinated because just a simple shake like this um, don't shake it too much everybody just a, a gentle shake like this and everything gets pollinated um, you can see we're ready to harvest a lot of these very soon so you've seen quite a few things already hopefully you're counting along with me so these are the Bangladesh Akira um, I grew these quite late but you can see they're very very healthy mashallah and we've started to get flowers and um, the cucumbers have started to appear I've got we've been blessed we've had loads of cucumbers this year as you can see just cucumber after cucumber alhamdulillah and while I'm here so you've got the green beans the runny beans let's see if you get good seeds everybody they get really long you know from my previous videos we've been harvesting beans and French beans a lot this year um, but the reason for me showing you this is I wanted to share this type of bean with you look how beautiful these are um, from the research that I've done um, and the person that gave me these seeds I've asked them what you do is they grow and you eat the seed with fish curry so you put them in a fish curry with seed the seed inside they, they get quite big um, so you can see all the way I've kept one straight away for seed because I want to grow them again and you can see we've got the French beans and we've got more of these all the way across if we get to harvest and have one curry with them I'm really happy because I've I think I only grew three plants you can see beautiful variety hope you enjoyed seeing this one okay now I want to share a Zenga plant with you so the same technique again everybody when the Zenga when you pollinate it and it's, this one's pollinated now, you can see it's growing cover it in a bottle, so even though it's raining a lot it's protected, so although a bit of rain will go through the top 
it'll just come out the bottom um, and then anything like the wind etc the Zenga's protected so hopefully you've enjoyed seeing that and then we've got loads of photo plants all across both gardens um, we've harvested plenty of photo this year um, really blessed alhamdulillah okay so now I'm going to share um, where I put a lot more of my chilli plants we've got loads of chilli plants I, I won't be able to show you all of them um, so far I've shown you some in the greenhouse and these are the ones we've got under some of the shelter we've got here so you can see they are absolutely covered in chilies absolutely covered again same technique I just go around every day just give it a shake um, you can see I ran out of pot pots so I just grew them in smaller pots you can see we've just been taking them off every day um, Spongalis we love chili um, this is a long bean plant they haven't started to flower yet but we've kept it well so far so yeah we'll see what happens with those and just chili after chili everybody I just wanted to show you um, the traditional bird's eye ones look at these inshallah every single flower gets pollinated um, which is great and this is the same technique just go around give it a little tap like that you can see my Bangladeshi aubergine plants there's a few here there's a few more here uh, once I've cut the dugi from the greenhouse, I'm going to pop them all in the greenhouse and they'll stay protected uh, up until the end of September, beginning of October, and that's when usually every year we tend to harvest a lot of our aubergines. Okay, so you know from one of my last videos we harvested six big bowls of potatoes, Bangladeshi potatoes from this patch here. Um, I've planted some more. Um, if we get the right conditions we'll have a lot more potatoes growing inshallah from here. And um, on this trellis, which has given us about four or five Bangla this year, you can see I'm still getting flowers. Um, leaves are not as healthy as the other trellises, um, but I wanted to show you again bottle technique. Um, and then a lovely variety here um, that's growing really nicely, mashallah. So we've still got quite a few Bangla growing, and then I wanted to show you, hopefully keeping up with how many varieties of things we've got. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get in here without messing things up. So you've got the Chinese hodos, Chinese pumpkins. So there's been quite a few of those this year. And I don't think I've shown my tomato plants. So I've got loads of tomato plants and um, we've harvested tomatoes already and um, one of the tricks to get them to have uh, to get them to ripen quickly is to just stop watering them it's hard when it's rains but just I don't think anyone who's, who's in the UK now you can probably if you want to ripen your tomatoes you can just stop watering them now and they'll start to ripen so we've got on this side of the garden we've got more pumpkins so we've got pumpkins there we've got courgettes growing in this patch um, you can see inside there we've got more pumpkins. You can see there's a big one here behind the tomatoes. So I'm doing loads of pumpkins. Um, you'll enjoy the harvest in a few weeks' time because we'll probably be harvesting a good 20 um, pumpkins and she'll let they all make it. Okay, so um, another coriander patch that's growing. So this is the third time we've planted here. Started to dig the other patch. I'm going to um, put the coriander back in here. Again, this will be the third time that we do it here. It, coriander is quite easy to grow, so if anyone's new to gardening, start with coriander. Um, we've got more courgette plants here. And one of my favourite parts is um, this little patch of chilies. Um, we've got what about 20 plants here, 15 20 plants properly. And you can see in the ground um, we've got chilies growing. Um, it's hard to see because of the rain. Um, but yeah, I just wanted you to enjoy these chilies that are growing really nicely. Um, I know we've harvested some from this plant already. Here we go. They're really, really hot. So yeah, so chilies, you can plant them directly in the ground and um, they do quite well as long as the conditions are fine. And then um, I wanted to also share um, I've got a furol, uh, which is a wax gourd, I think it's called. 
Um, I'm not sure if we've got any flowers left. Um, we had one come out. I was really excited. Um, here you go. It was really excited, um, but it hasn't. The flowers haven't opened up yet. I think it got caught up in a lot of the wind. Um, so yeah, so we've got a furrow plant. If we start, if we get a bit of sun, hopefully it'll flower, and then I can show you that as well. And we've got some mustard leaves here. Um, I don't really like putting them in the soil because it, they do attract a lot of slugs and insects. So we've got a couple of containers here. Um, I've kept a few fottle on this plant for seed, so we can grow them inshallah next year. And then you've got some more Bangladeshi uri on this side. And then um, these dovi, you can see the, the, the green ones, the red ones. We like harvesting them before they get too big. They taste really nice when they're like this. And then we've got more chilli plants. I told you we've got chilli plants everywhere. Um, I'll keep them in my garage because they stay protected. So hopefully you've enjoyed that update everybody. Um, some more aubergines there. Um, inshallah, when these are ready to be harvested, um, I'll be able to do another harvest video um, pretty soon, in a few more days, and then share some tips on um, what I use, what kind of fertilizer I use, and a special type of fertilizer that I really want to share with everybody. So stay tuned, inshallah. Stay well, stay safe, and I'll uh, speak to you soon. Assalamu alaikum.